it's Lael with Lael by Mail. And you guys, I'm so excited. It is December 2nd, 2019. And the last week, I finally finished up my December Daily album for 2018. So I am here to tell you, there is no pressure. There can't be any pressure for us, you guys. It Sometimes life gets in the way and we just can't get things done in the time frame that we would hope to get things done. But I'm very excited to say that I did finish 2018 and I figure I'm just under the wire because um, it's not quite the end of 2019 yet. So I thought I would take a few minutes and do a walkthrough of my completed 2018 December daily. I have linked um, to my current video for the 2019 kit that I have available as well as the flip through of my 2019 foundation pages. So you'll see that in the video description below. Alrighty, so here we go. And as, um, as we go, I'll just kind of talk about a little bit what I did. And I always love to add all kinds of dimensional things. So I've added here uh, some little pearls and things like that. This would be the first. Now, last year I did a ton of travel in December. So December 1st to the 3rd, I was in Spokane teaching at a scrapbook store called Three Craft Chicks, and I was teaching, among other things, things, this project. So the first three days were all about that trip, and I used one of the little photo flips from Simple Stories. I will include that in the description as well, a link to those, because those were a great, great way to add additional, um, additional photos and cards and things. I also added a postcard from Washington, and that's where I was. So the fourth, the fourth is always a fun one. The fourth is, our youngest son's birthday. So for the fourth, I grabbed one of these little bags that I found in the Target dollar spot or one spot or whatever they call it. Um, I punched holes in the side of that bag and that's a fabric bag. And then I put um, a little card inside for uh, the photo and the story for that day. So last year he turned 18. So I talked a little bit about his 18th birthday and that is the fourth. All right, as we continue to move on, I always like to include some decorations around the house. So that was in my craft room. Talked a little bit about different decorations. Um, one of the things I love to do with my December dailies every year, different sizes. Um, some of my photos are black and white, some are color. I generally do quite a bit of journaling or storytelling, but for the most part, I'm always um, handwriting that as opposed to doing it um, on a computer or something. All right, so more decorations around the house. Okay, so we were home for a few days, or I was home for a few days, and then my husband and I headed to Napa Valley for four days with some friends for a big um, birthday party last year. A number of us turned 50. So that's what the 6th through the 9th was all about. My favorite part about, um, you guys, it was an amazing trip. I took a picture of um, one of the barns at one of the wineries and used that as the base of my page here. Add a little bit of text um, in my computer in Photoshop before I actually printed that out and then added a star to the top. But over here in the pocket pages, I have used one of the Simple Stories photo booklets. You guys, these are awesome for adding lots of different photos. So as you can see, um, that is stitched and it's really heavy duty cardboard, but it is a booklet that has um, different, let me jump to the beginning here, uh, pocket pages in it, little pockets. So I was able to, let's count, um, add one, two, three, whoopsie, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, you guys, 11 extra photos. So really, I had a, um, a two-page spread here where I had 12 photos. So I'll link those photo booklets uh, in the video description as well, but those are awesome for a project like this when you have lots of photos and you don't necessarily have a ton of extra room in your book to tell a story. All right, so this was the 10th. And the 10th, um, our youngest son, who was a senior in high school last year, um, did a, a service project where he gathered um, different things for the road home. So blankets, the road home is a local Utah uh, shelter. 
um, for homeless. Now, one of the fun things that he did, I have to just mention this, and I told this story um, over here, but one of the things that he did is he also collected money. And one day I took him to, actually it was this day, I took him to Costco and we bought diapers and formula. And he was like, oh my gosh, this is crazy. I can't believe how much um, money diapers and formula cost. And I'm like, yep, you remember that. Anyhow, so that is the 10th. And that was just a cute little bookmark that I punched holes in. Then we move on to the 11th. One of the favorite things I like to include every year is our, um, our family Christmas card. And sometimes they're a little bit more serious. Sometimes they are goofy like this guy. Um, anyhow, basically just punch holes and in it goes and kind of told the story about uh, the goofy, my husband and the boys. All right. On the 12th, we had a little neighborhood party. So um, sometimes you don't have to tell, you know, really in-depth, meaningful, um, I shouldn't say meaningful because they're all meaningful, but they don't have to be like really in-depth novellas as you are, um, you know, adding your story for the day. Oh my gosh. Okay. 13th and 14th, I hit the road again and went with a couple of girlfriends. And this was something I will never forget this experience. And um, we flew to Denver and saw um, Michelle Obama and her becoming tour. And um, we had the opportunity to meet her and get a photo taken with her. So this right here, um, it, this story will always mean so much to me, but I'm so glad that I have it documented um, in a book like this because um, I will always remember it, but now I can, you know, come back and remember what I was feeling and um, my best friend, girlfriends and kind of that experience. That is where I stopped um, in 2018. And then everything else I've done here, I completed, uh, as I said, a week ago. Now, one of the nice things about that, and a couple people have said to me, my gosh, what happens if you get behind? And the beauty about having our cell phones, you guys, most of us use our cell phones anymore as our main camera. So you have your, um, the, your photo is date, and st is date stamped. So when you go back and look through um, your photo, your photos on your phone, you know what date things were taken. And a lot of times I will just um, open up a new note in my phone for December and date things I wanna remember. So um, if there are any times that I can't remember any particulars or details, I can match the photo, the date with the photo, and then the date on my little note in my phone and I'm good. So that really helped me this year. So, or excuse me, it helped me last week when I was working on my project for last year. Anyhow, so that's the 15th, just shopping, um, 16th and well, let's see. Nope. This is the 16th. So, um, my husband and my son went on a pretty amazing ski trip last year for our son's senior trip. Um, and they went up to British Columbia to go skiing. And I want to show you one of the things that I did here. So I printed two photos. So this guy and this guy, I printed it on matte photo paper. So it almost seems like cardstock. And then that those beautiful trees. So can you see what I did? I used some stickles and I just kind of stickled um, a couple of the trees right there to really make them stand out. Um, stickles, one of my favorite, favorite things to use. And so I did the same thing on the back here, but that kind of just makes it for a really fun effect. And then a picture of the two of them together on that trip. 17th, um, short and sweet. Um, and I don't remember who, but I know a number of people have done this over the years. I think it's a great idea taking a picture of your gift wrap and just kind of putting that in there. To me, it's kind of like taking a picture, um, at least having a picture when I was a kid of maybe the avocado green um, refrigerator or the shag rug carpet or our van. Um, it really kind of helps to um, time stamp or date stamp things, if you will. So, you know, I may look back on that in 20 years and go, oh my gosh, I used that for gift wrap. So it's kind of a funny thing, a fun thing to add. All right. The 18th, um, our oldest son had come home from college and he um, made a pretty big life decision um, that he let us know on that trip and bless his heart. It was a tough one for him, but he decided that he was not going to go to college anymore. That was not for him and he wanted to go to culinary school so um, he has always loved to cook and um, I snapped that shot of him in our kitchen um, cooking a dinner for us so um, and I told that story a little bit right there all right the 19th so a nice little pocket here and I have added some photos of our home 
um, our front porch and then um, with the Christmas lights and I actually printed the journaling right there on the photo in Photoshop. Okay, we're getting close, the 20th. Um, I, this was one night my husband and I were watching um, Home Alone. Anyhow, it's fun I think to kind of document the downtime that you have during the holidays because a lot of times we don't um, have too much downtime. So I kind of talked about uh, watching movies during the holidays and then, um, and actually, my husband wasn't home yet. I was watching that. And how I know is because of this little spread. So as we turn the page, we see my husband on the couch um, with his knee um, wrapped up with an ice machine. Uh, that ski trip I mentioned that he and my um, son had gone on, well, he tore his ACL. So um, that was kind of a big part of our holiday. So, of course... Um, we have to document those things, right? Our youngest son um, adding the little topper to the top of the tree. Um, talked a little bit about uh, we were in a new home last year. We had moved after living in the same home for 18 years. So kind of some of the changes that we went through as we were adjusting to holidays in a new home and a new tree and things like that. Um, a big tradition I've done with our boys, oh my gosh, since they were little, 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 making a specific type of cookie. Um, every year during the holidays, documented that. More cooking going on. Um, we started a tradition a number of years ago on Christmas Eve. We would go snowshoeing and then we would have crab legs and bread and Caesar salad for dinner. Now, because of my husband's ACL and the boys' work schedules, we were not able to do the snowshoeing that year, snowshoeing um, last year, but we still had our, um, our, um, our annual crab leg dinner. And then that takes us to the 25th, so Christmas. I always like to leave a good amount of room um, this, um, this day on the 25th because that's when we're doing a lot of photos. Again, I used one of the photo booklets, but here, instead of tucking it into the pocket, the full thing into the pocket like I did before, basically this one I turned upside down. So um, the last one that I did was in this way. This one I am turning upside down and only this part is in the pocket. Um, so that way you don't have to actually take it out of the pocket to see the photos. So um, as we go through there, just photos, opening presents. We always have a big um, holiday party every year at our house and that um, wraps up the 25th. Um, and then our youngest with one of his cute friends as we were playing games. So um, I always get really emotional um, at this time when I end, when I get to the end of the album, you guys, and it's just because it is, it's such a special project and I'm probably a little bit more emotional about it this year because, um, last year was tough. Last December was tough. And to be honest with you, I just had to set it aside. Um, I was not in the Christmas spirit. We had a number of things going on, a number of injuries in our house and lots of big life changes, um, for our older son. And it was hard. So, um, I set it aside and what is so wonderful about having the ability to do that and I really just gave myself permission to do that was that um, it was so much easier for me to come back this December or last week and um, and finish the project because I was able to kind of look at that time with um, with kind of some wisdom and we'd been through the year and everything turned out great. Um, it just, I, I just, I didn't have it in me to finish. So um, I really enjoyed this last week sitting down and looking back at those memories and, and, um, and still having them down. That was really important to me. So um, I hope, hope, hope if you're doing a project like, project like this this year, or if you've done one in the past, that you give yourself that permission. Um, don't get caught up in feeling like you have to get it done every single day. It's okay. It's okay to not finish. It's okay to come back to it. Um, this year, 2019, will be the 12th year that I have done this project. Um, and it's every year I say this, but this is just one of the most special, most important projects to me that I do every year. So um, bless you. Good luck to you. Um, enjoy the process. And if you have any questions about anything that I've done or the process in general, please, 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 please leave a comment um, and I will get back to you. Thanks, everybody. Happy December. Bye-bye.